So what's going on guys, it's Jamie, it's Speedbox here, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, Chris Eubank Jr. retains his IBO Super Middleweight title after he wins a dominant 12 round unanimous decision over veteran former Super Middleweight champion Arthur Abraham in London tonight. And... It was an expected performance by Chris Eubank Jr. He was just too much for the 37-year-old Abraham. Just totally outworked him, outlanded him. The work rate was just too much by Chris Eubank Jr. Arthur Abraham is a very low-volume guy anyway. He doesn't tend to throw many shots in rounds, whereas Chris Eubank Jr. was throwing a lot of shots, whipping in that upper cut that he likes to throw, whipping in body shots. And he was just penetrating the guard of Arthur Abraham who does have a very high guard and yeah don't get me wrong Chris Eubank Jr was caught a couple of times himself but nothing really affected Chris Eubank Jr in there like he's showing to have a very good chin similar to his father's and he was doing the showboating and stuff like that so Chris Eubank Jr was very comfortable in there against Abraham who is a faded fighter who in the past couple of years has been on the slide, especially since he lost his WBO Super Middleweight title to Gilberto Ramirez. The final scores were two judges had the fight 118, 110, and another judge had it 120, 108. So one judge actually gave Chris Eubank Jr. every round. I found it very hard to give Arthur Abraham a round in there. Like Chris Eubank Jr. just dominated from the first bell to the final bell. And it was a very good performance, a mature performance by Chris Eubank Jr. in my opinion because a lot of fighters, young fighters would tend to get a bit over enthusiastic especially if they've got a style like Chris Eubank Jr.'s in which the work rate's very high but Chris Eubank Jr. just stuck to the job in hand and he got to performance and it was a good performance. Off Abraham is a very durable guy anyway. He's only ever been stopped once in his career and I think that was by a corner stoppage so he's never been stopped in the ring before Arthur Abraham uh, on his feet he's never been knocked out or anything like that so it wasn't too shocking that Chris Eubank Jr won on points I predicted that Chris Eubank Jr would stop in him 10 rounds but yeah Arthur Abraham stuck in there and he heard the final bell and now Chris Eubank Jr will head into the World Boxing Super Series where he will fight undefeated Turkish fighter Anvi Yildirim in the quarterfinals and he wants fights with guys like James DeGale who is the IBF super middleweight champion and George Groves who is the WBA super middleweight champion and I can see Eubank Jr getting them fights down the line he is a character he is a name in British boxing and he is a good fighter if he can beat guys like George Groves or James DeGale we'll have to see about that but he is definitely impressing a lot of people out there because Eubank Jr and it was a good performance it was what it was. Comment below in the comment section. It's JM. It's